What is Nathan Murphy's playing future going to look like? Let's get into it. So I was kind of umming and ahhing about making this video. Um, and you know, this video idea, it came from a couple of weeks ago when, when Murphy sort of stepped down um, uh, to, to sort of focus on his health and his um, ongoing concussion battles um, going into the season. And I think I wanted to make this video in light of, um, you know, Angus Brayshaw's um, retirement recently. And that's just really sad. Like, I, I kind of get, if this gets into the opposition supporters' um, YouTube algorithm feeds, I kind of know what the what comments are, we're going to get. Um, so we can't really bite back on those. But, you know, Angus Brayshaw retiring due to um, concussions and, you know, mainly because of that hit against um, uh, Brandon Maynard in that in that final. But, you know, I'm not, I don't want, really want to touch on, on that too much besides the fact that it is really sad that he's had to um, retire. You know, it's exactly like Paddy McCartan, uh, was it last year or the year before, the AFL and all the medical um, staff and stuff that he was working with said, you know, it's advised that you retire because of the ongoing concussion issues and, and things like that. And you're more susceptible to concussions. And, and it's just really sad. And, and, and that's, you know, I'm not a, a medical expert, uh, obviously. Um, and, you know, I can't really speak on the medical sort of side of it. But it, it is really sad when, you know, you're taken away from, from something you love with, when something isn't, you know, you, you're not able to sort of deal with the outcome yourself. It, it, it just happened. Uh, and, and yeah, it is really sad for Angus Brasher to, to retire. And I'm sending love to, to him and, and um, you know, the Mount Football Club and, and his family and friends and stuff like that. So, you know, um, it, it's really sad. But with, with that being said, we do have our own little, not problem, but our own little, you know, similar sort of thing at the moment with, with Nathan Murphy. Now, we saw Nathan Murphy go down in the grand final um, from a from a hit, uh, I think it was Lincoln Lincoln McCartney, um, McCarthy Lincoln McCarthy that that sort of that sort of hit him flushed him um, accidental of course as as they mainly always are um, and he he couldn't get back onto the field he he passed the concussion test but still wasn't feeling right and I think uh, as I was like looking into this um, uh, before I made this video that was his seventh or eighth recorded concussion now. There's no records of, of that I could see from him from junior years, but in the you know in his in his lead up uh, since I think he started in 2017 or something like that seven or eight um, concussions. Now is he susceptible to, to concussions? You know from the outside looking in it looks like it, but again don't have his medical records can't really say much to that. So what ended up happening? So um, he got cleared. He he did go in front of the, the AFL and, and the and the doctor board and medical board. Um, with his family and Collingwood Football Club and stuff, and you know, uh, they cleared him. They cleared him. They said that you're you're okay to play. You're you're fine to play, uh, and that was that was all good. But then it sort of comes back down to, um, you know, Collingwood saying, "Yeah, look, we're going to look after you. We've got all the best medical sort of stuff here for you. Uh, and if you're okay with it, your family's okay with it, you can continue if you want to." And that's what happened. He's 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 continuing. Um, but then a couple of weeks ago, before our game against uh, the Kangaroos, uh, Graham Wright and Nathan Murphy came out front of the media and said that Murphy would be sitting out these two practice games, so the Kangaroos game and the Richmond game, um, and it could be potentially into the season as well. There was an article the other day, uh, I think on, on Friday, uh, Isaac Quainer was, was talking about something, and the article did sort of offhand mention that Nathan Murphy won't be there for the opening round against um, the Giants to start our premiership defence. Now, it, that it, it's sad. It's sad that um, Nathan Murphy's going through through a similar thing, um, and you know, seven or eight concussions, and, and we know all this sort of CTE stuff, and and looking after yourself is far more important than playing a game of, of football. Um, and you know, with this sort of Nathan Murphy thing, it, yes, his health is is paramount, and it's so good that he's been able to say, look, you know what, I'm not going to sort of rush it. I'm going to do it on my own sort of timeline. I'm going to sit back. Um, I'm going to, you know, still to Pazak in training. I don't think he's in full training just yet. Still keeping the ball around, still running and stuff. Uh, but I'm going to sit back until I feel ready, until I feel confident enough. And that's what he, that's the one thing that he mentioned in that interview. He wants to feel confident in himself. Um, he, concussion wise, he's fine, but he wants to feel confident in himself and maybe change his techniques around a little bit. Um, 
you know, to sort of avoid that. Because we know that Nathan Murphy is is that sort of kamikaze, quote-unquote, uh, player where he'll just go in, no regard for his own sort of body. He just wants to stop that ball. Um, and, you know, he is a rock in our defense. And, you know, we don't get into that premiership. We don't we don't win that premiership without him last season. And in 2022, he did, he did really well um, as well. So... What does that mean for our lineup going forward? Look, we, we sort of saw it last uh, last game with the Kangaroos. We saw Charlie Dean step up, uh, Billy Frampton step up uh, as well. We in our in our uh, video that we did the other the other week where it was like we're looking at depth players for uh, for defenders. Um, we, we 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 got we got a couple, but we don't have anyone like a Nathan Murphy type because what Nathan Murphy does when he's in, he allows Jeremy Howe to play freer. He allows Darcy Moore to play freer. He allows, you know, Q to sort of run on a little bit, a little bit more than he, than he would. When Nathan Murphy went down into that, uh, out of that grand final, and it was like, what, the first quarter or something like that, or, or second quarter, whenever it was, uh, you know, Jeremy Howe had to go to Eric Hipwood, and we had to do a little bit of a reshuffle. In the end, obviously, it was it was okay, it worked. But now, do we have to, um, you know, shuffle it around a little bit more? Who comes in uh, for Murphy? Who sort of who covers him? And and you think, okay, maybe Billy Frampton is the guy that covers him, uh, because what Billy Frampton can do, he, he can take that sort of bigger defender and allow still allow Jeremy Howe still allow uh, Darcy Moore to sort of run off a little bit the only thing about um uh, Billy Franklin is that he's not quick so yes he's he'll be okay in one-on-ones and he can take a good grab he can punch the ball and stuff but he's not quick he can't um if we're sort of playing off he doesn't I don't feel anyway that he has that sort of closing speed to sort of run and get the uh, get those meters gained and then punch the ball and whatever that might be which Nathan Murphy does um and Nathan Murphy obviously no one can be as courageous as, as sort of Nathan Murphy. And then, on the other hand, you've got Charlie Dean. Now, Charlie Dean hasn't has his own sort of problems. He had full, full problems for like two or so years. Uh, he's now starting to string together games, which we absolutely love. And in that North Melbourne game, we got to see a little bit of, of what he can do. Yes, his sort of distribution can be... Uh, can be tightened up a little bit. But that, that will come with, with sort of practice and, and you know... Um, you know, match fitness and playing with these guys because you've got to think that Charlie Dean hasn't played a lot of games uh, recently. So, you know, Charlie Dean, is he the next guy up? I feel like it's it's either Charlie Dean or Billy Franklin, unless I'm forgetting someone, which I don't... My memory is really bad, but which I don't really think I am um, forgetting forgetting anyone in that sort of position where that Nathan Murphy can play. Um, but Charlie Dean could be the future. You know, we, we said that when Charlie Dean was, was sort of signed, he was like Jeremy Howe's um, replacement. So could he be Nathan Murphy's uh, replacement going forward in the round zero team? He would need to show a lot, a lot, a lot against Richmond um, to sort of come in into a premiership side um, as, a, as, a de- as a debutant, really. That's what he, exactly he would be at, against the Giants. So I think... At the moment, I'm leaning a little bit more towards Billy Franton than I am towards Charlie Dean. But in saying that, if Nathan Murphy, you know, I don't want him to retire, but if Nathan Murphy does retire, or if Nathan Murphy doesn't play until round six, round seven, that gives us a little bit um, of a chance to see is Billy Franton the guy for the for the you know for the first couple of rounds, or does Charlie Dean make his uh, debut in round two or three or whatever it may be, and then we can sort of see him how he goes about it against like you know a St Kilda or you know or an Essendon or, or someone uh, or a team like that. Um, and I'm really excited about what Charlie Dean can bring to this side because you know in his draft in his draft year uh, he was Williamstown's best player or, or was it the best? Did he win the JJ Liston Trophy in the VFL? He he won something like that. My memory is failing me at the moment. So he has got a lot of potential. He's only he's really young as well, and like Nathan Murphy, Nathan Murphy is really young as well. So in my, um, you know, in my opinion, it is out of uh, Billy Frampton. It is out of Charlie Dean. What do we want? We are never going to p- replace Nathan Murphy until Nathan Murphy comes back into this squad. Hopefully, fingers crossed that he does. Touch wood that he does. Um, but at the moment, it's Billy Frampton. It's Charlie Dean. Who do you want in our round zero um, squad against the Giants? Let me know your thoughts down below. But until then, like, comment, subscribe, take family, take friends, take friends. And until next time, double shakers. I'll see you later.